think it's hungry. I don't know. I just... Shut the door, the sun's still out. It's coming. The bad hips. And I have asthma, but I'll hustle in an emergency. It's not an emergency. <clears throat> it's over. The baby's gone. And the mom, too. Just the dad is left. Dear, I'm so, so sorry. Will you please make sure he doesn't hurt himself? In a minute. I want to know what you did wrong. They got nervous about the details, and, and the, she stopped eating. But the baby, they kept growing, and we started the rope ritual, and there was, there was so much blood. Oh, there's always blood. Not this much. Don't be angry with her. We all make mistakes. The baby is gone. Oh, and if you think I'm angry, Wait till the foundation finds out. They think it's my fault. They're gonna take me in the world. Don't worry, sweetie. Remember the foundation as a family. Let me handle this. You put in the call and go sit with Dad. There. Thank you. This is Lilith. I'm at Marsha's. Yes, we need a complete cleanup crew. Oh, it's a total cut up. She's just upset. Let's get you a nice cup of tea, and you can tell me exactly what happened. Infertility is a big, traumatic, multifaceted loss. Today, the part we're talking about is the image you had of the parent you thought you would be. Today's assignment was to bring an object that represents that image, something you can let go of symbolically that might help you let go emotionally, just a little bit. Okay. Didn't have a lot of friends in middle school. Um, I was the weird kid who would knit all the time. I know you can't choose what your kids are into. For our sixth anniversary, my husband got me divorce papers. I a letter from a surrogate we couldn't afford. I would wrap my stuffed animals in it and pretend they were my kids, which was insane because I was 16 at the time. It's $186,000. We went bankrupt years ago. Four miscarriages. Four. The bastard has the nerve to say it's because I'm working too hard. Like that would somehow fix my uterus if I just prayed a little harder. And every time, Eric, you're so great. I see these women who are so oblivious to what they have. I see my nephew, my sister's son, and I get so jealous. I feel like I feel broken. Like she let me down like a failure. I don't want to be this angry person anymore. I know I'm supposed to move on. I have to move on. I know, we have to move on. At some point, you have to accept that the wall that you keep banging your head against over and over and over again isn't gonna break. But I can't do it if he's not. If you, if you're not ready to move on too, I can't. You know, it just, it won't work. So, so you go and then we can do this together.
<laughs> this was my grandma's. <laughs> she always said, um, this got her pregnant. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> she also always said she thought I would be a great father. You guys are all talking about moving on and something about how hard it is. But you all seem to want to. And I don't want to give up. I said eight months in a submarine or not, you still have to wear a condom. <laughs> God, I miss when sex was fun. Not just apps and charts and tracking and, yeah. Does he still go down on you? Yeah, but... You know, Eric's still pushing for another round of IVF. I'm working double shifts twice a week to pay off the last round. And the marks on my stomach, they still haven't faded. <sighs> my cousin just had a baby. I know, I know, I'm sorry, but it's a miracle. Jesus, Charisse, I don't, when she was 21, she had cancer and a hysterectomy, and now she's got a new baby. She said some organization helped her, and maybe if you wanted to, you can talk to her. That's all. Hello. Hey, Susan? This is Michaela Galliston. Oh, hey. Therese told me you'd be calling. Yeah, she was the cool RA in my freshman dorm. I bet. She used to bring me pop when I was going through chemo. Which was for? Uterine cancer. Sucked. Had the whole thing removed. Been in full remission a couple of years. And now you have a baby? It's crazy, I know. That can't be right. I swear to God, the stuff the foundation can do is. <laughs> I gotta go check on Francis. Let me. Yeah, cool. Thanks. Of course, good luck. I think, I think that's all there is. Think it's something? I don't know. Trace wouldn't have mentioned it if she didn't think it was something. And, and her cousin had a, a hysterectomy, then a baby. No, that's not a thing. <laughs> I know. That's what I said. Michaela, I um, I thought you wanted to move on. And I thought this is what you wanted. Thank you. Hi. Hey, hey, welcome. Welcome. I'm the oh, yes. Thanks for coming. <laughs> and you must be Eric. Yes. Hi. Hi. Ola, right? Uh, uh, that's a unique name. Oh, my parents were beatniks. <laughs> Oh, would you like some of the drinks? Some water, coffee? Um, water. Lukewarm, please. <laughs> Oh, and an egg, of course. Oh, this is a lovely home and absolutely deserving of a child. The Gravita Foundation is honored that you are considering allowing us to help you achieve your miracle. Please sit.
Your hands, please. Mikosha Klipsa Kupur Mara Hado Koson No Tona Verise Galore Tumut I'm sure you've been promised miracles before, and you don't believe that this is real, but I wouldn't lie to someone who's been through what you've been through. The Gravita Foundation helped me when I couldn't conceive. He's a geneticist now, and I'm so grateful that they taught me how to share their gift. It's your egg, so it's your chip, if you wish. If not, I'll take it for you. Uh, you go, go for it. <laughs> That's a little demonstration the Foundation created to show off what we can do. <laughs> it's not deception or sleight of hand. It's magic. Powerful, old magic. So you're a witch? <laughs> no. I just volunteered to help after they helped me. Yeah, of course. So... Uh, how does it work? Well, there's a three-week cleansing period with a special diet and uh, some things you can't do. And then I will stay with you for a week of rituals to make sure that the baby is stable so that you get the child that you want. You absolutely deserve the chance to be parents. Let me give it to you. That is quite an offer. Yes. Thank you. Oh, we'll talk about it and um, we'll get back to you. Of course. Take your time. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, oh, <laughs> and here, some homemade tea. Steep it for two minutes and then add a little whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a party. <laughs> Take care now. Have a good one. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Oh, my God. No. Oh, that's pretty good. You really? Some? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh, God. What? I like it. It's okay. All right, fine. It's more for me then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. Mm. That thing with the egg, that was nuts. Yeah, it's a good trick. Was it a trick though? Yeah, it was a good trick. But was it really a trick? Are you actually considering she isn't full of shit? Oh, maybe? Look, look. My grandma tried for 20 years to have kids. 20 years. And then someone gave her a carved stone dick and bam! My dad. Maybe... Maybe this is our carved stone dick. You're drunk. Compared to another round of IVF, what's the risk? Energy, hope, the ability to look at myself in the mirror after agreeing to work with a shaman who looks like Charisse's crazy aunt. Plus, we can't afford the days off. If you were pregnant, we would figure it out. But this isn't real. 
Do you really think this hippie lady is a fucking wizard? Oh, whoa, excuse me, I thought you didn't like it. It's totally fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I am so sorry. I had no idea Susan was so far down the rabbit hole. It's okay. It's not as bad as that pyramid scheme lunch thing. Um, I made $600 on that, thank you very much. Oh, see, sometimes the scam is legit. Well, it, well it's a pretty elaborate scam for, what'd you say, free? I know, right? It's obviously too good to be true. I mean, I don't get why Eric's obsessing about it. But what if this one time magic is real? Do you want my actual opinion? <sighs> no, no, no. Not soft enough. Uh, get a fluffy one, not wool. Maybe cotton. Fleece is nice. Too much light. These stay closed. What are these? Fertility idols. Uh, the red one was my grandma's. She said it helped her, so I got a few more. You know, just in case. Well, it didn't help you. I can't have their magic interfering with mine. Uh, they need to be out of the house completely. Sounds good. No cucumber, no shellfish, no bowling, no smoking, cigarettes or weed. Not too much sun, no liquor, red wine is okay, but just don't go overboard. And no sex. But you can masturbate if you need to twice a week. Michaela, I'll need for you to text me updates on your cycle. Now. You'll have to follow all of these restrictions perfectly for three weeks before the week of the rituals. If you don't, the magic won't work. Oh, uh, okay. <sighs> oh, that's really good. <laughs> it's an old recipe with some herbs to open up your chakras. Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here's our contract. It spells out everything you need to know. Awesome. Uh, each clause needs to be initialed by both of you. No problem. Okay. Yeah. What's this required monitoring? thing, um, Section 8B? Oh, just a little visit from the Foundation. We'll stop by and bring you diapers, clothes, whatever you need. See? Yeah, that's nice. If you want to do this, I'm in. But if this doesn't work, I'm done. No IVF, no research studies, or idols, or crystals, or crazy witch ladies. No offense. But what if there's no. some... This is it. One last try. Oh. Oh. Well, after this... There will be nothing left to try. We'll get dogs. I want schnauzers. Okay. Here. It's lace. Put it in your windows. It will help fortify the light in your home. Okay. For your red wine. Technically kosher is best, but it's awful. So it really doesn't matter. What about sangria? Honey, she just said red what? wine. It's wine and fruit. I can have fruit, right? It's a good question. You can ask one of the representatives through our app. 
Here's the login information. You guys have an app? <laughs> of course. Magic isn't stuck in the dark ages. <laughs> the app's got all the rules and uh, a section for your prayers and pronunciations, my contact info, but uh, just use the chat function. They can help. And frankly, they know the little things better than I do. If you need to delay for any reason, that's fine. But if you cheat and don't tell me, anything unexpected can be a disaster. Okay, well, we'll behave. You'd better. Now, uh, before you begin this journey, take a night, get drunk, eat junk food, get high, enjoy what you're sacrificing, understand it. I'm so happy for you both. Come on, open up. It's just practice, rehearsal. I have a baby. Open up. I can't believe we're doing this. I don't want to go a month without processed carbs. So you're in? 100%. You're not gonna accidentally eat a cookie every two and a half weeks? <laughs> Though? Plus, it's easier than IVF mm. and cheaper. Mm. We could dye it a little and put lace on our windows. No shots. I think this would be good for us. Maybe she can do magic. She could be like Madame Pomfrey, who went rogue to help muggles. The next time she's here, mm -hmm. let's say Voldemort. See if she flinches. Yeah, that's good, yeah? It's good. Oh, Fucking it. brilliant. Dude, I think we make some smarter. Right. <laughs> New. Come on. New. 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 Again? Oh, gonna be late now. You know, I'm gonna be home late tonight, and she said you could jerk off if you wanted to. You ready for tomorrow? I'm ready for this to be done. I'm sick of eating rabbit food. And I miss, you know, sex. Same. <laughs> Same. Um, if this um, doesn't work, are you going to be OK? I think so. I can't get any crazier than this, right? <laughs> Promise. Promise. Wonderful. Now we can begin. I just want to say we're so. I'll be right back. Well, whatever happens, it will be a hell of a story. Seriously. Do you, uh, do you want some help? Oh, no, no, no. I've got it, sweetie. <laughs> Is this baby bondage gear? <laughs> what do you think these light bulbs were for? 
The baby will have sensitive eyes from the magic. Six months, you won't even be able to tell at all. Let's get to it. Where will the baby be sleeping? Oh, uh, well, we thought maybe with us for a bit. Yeah, make nighttime feedings easier and... And then you have a bedroom for your baby, right? Yeah, the guest room, uh, Eric's old office. Yep. We were gonna mm -hmm. convert it after the baby was Oh, cool. no, no, it needs to be done now. Preparing the space is part of the process. Oh, okay. It's all gotta go. Can we move everything to the garage? Not really. The baby's spirit needs to know it will have a dedicated space of its own. I'm sure you can get it emptied by sunset. Sunset t today? I don't want to delay. <laughs> oh. One, two, three. three. There we go. Ta-da. Oh, can't believe you guys are really doing this. It's your fault. Uh, thanks for the tip. You're welcome, my guest. But I am pulling for you guys. Despite everything I know about biology, physics, science in general. Oh my god, is that her? She looks like my Aunt Marge who sold us that acid. Maybe we can get some good drugs off of her. Or, uh, you know, a baby. Either way, it'll be a trip. <laughs> really? Wow, yeah. Oh, come on. All right, let's get going. Neil. I don't know why you think I'm joking. Neil. Okay. <laughs> we hide the light of the world away and invite the light between the stars into our homes and our hearts. Stay. <laughs> you think we'll get a treat if we're good? <laughs> Eric, you too. <sighs> this bird, the one hatched at your table, represents the child you did not have. The one you expected. The one you will not have. I'm not hungry. And what are you worried about? You don't believe in any of this, remember? Yeah, because it's weird and it's creepy. But you've bought into it, so now I need to eat a bird that died in my hands in our living room. Ugh. I love you. You're welcome. Knock, knock, I'm coming in. Hey, Mama and Papa. Great to be here. Who the hell are you? I'm Dr. Zakeni, OBGYN. Yale undergrad, Harvard Med, Duke residency. You can call me Dr. Zakeni. Dr. Z, Doc, Z. It's all good. I work at Mercy General downtown. and I volunteer with the Gravito Foundation whenever I can. My bio's in the app. It's, uh, well, it's nice to meet you. Likewise. Likewise. And you. What are you doing here? He's helping? Well, specifically, Ola makes the magic happen, and I keep you safe with modern medicine. <laughs> Pregnancy's tough. Magic is not. Uh, it's okay. I'd like to get a quick look-see. 
Just make sure everything's ship shape. Shouldn't you have done that three weeks ago before we started dieting? Honey, Ola would have caught anything that would have been incompatible with our process. This is just for a baseline. I'll give you a moment to get change and uh, get on the table. Are you okay? Can you get me a water? <clears throat> hey, Eric. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm just having some trouble. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this this is magic, and and you're a doctor. How does that work? Well, we don't know exactly how Tylenol works or penicillin, but they do, and so does magic. You know, I'm a big believer in results, and the Gravita Foundation made me, and it turned out okay. So you're a... Foundation baby, through and through. And I'm pretty awesome. Listen, I know this is scary, but uh, this is gonna be the best decision you ever made. You ready? Yeah, uh, I'll be right there. What's going on? Oh, cold hands. You okay? Yeah. Before we do the draw, any uh, family or personal history of anemia, sickle cell, cancer, uh, hemophilia, any blood disorders? Uh, nothing on my side. My grandmother had breast cancer. But no history of leukemia or myeloma? Nothing like that? No. Great. The foundation will be very happy to hear that. Why would they care? Well, I send them a full report. It's their process. They just make sure I'm not missing anything. But Michaela, look at him. His parents, uh, well, they use the foundation too. The Gravita Foundation is a family. Welcome. Your veins are lovely. Quick pinch. back to check on you every night. If you need anything before then, feel free to call me on the app. Oh, and uh, you're gonna feel pretty terrible most of the time, but uh, it's gonna be worth it. A blink of an eye. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? I'll let you get changed. Thank you, doctor. Let's begin. This first ritual is the true beginning of your journey into parenthood. Take your place in front of me, facing each other. Huh, that's modern. Better for my asthma. It's the ambiance that matters. Speeds things up anyway, the mats too.
Blessed be the mother who gives herself for her child. Blessed be the father who gives himself for his child. Okay, now please strip nude. How did you think it worked? I guess, uh, just to pretend like we're on that beach from our honeymoon. Are you gonna get sunburn on your junk again? Nice. Man and woman is all there is. I am outside your world. Your world is a void. All you see is each other, bathing in the light of your love, the light between the stars. Don't think about me. Don't think about making a child. This doesn't work in our world. It only works in the world you create together. The symbols I'm drawing will bind you in that world. So let your eyes be honest. Look at each other. Take it in. Think about everything your partner has given you. Every smile, every laugh, every flutter of your heart. Place your palms together, and through your touch, show your partner the person they are to you. Interlock your fingers and become the person you are to them. You are connected. You are alone in your world. Hold fast. Stay together. Don't let go. Give yourself to her. did well. I hope it worked, but we'll know for sure in the morning. Get some rest. I'll clean up. Sleep well? Ugh. Well, some breakfast should perk you up. Thanks. What? That's a good sign. Come with me. Eat it all, okay? Okay. This will be uncomfortable, but you'll feel better. It won't last too long, I promise. Yum, yum, bum, Samba log dilly dilly to Mina mina mbaka eka ro Yendu ki jure te tuka
think it worked. <sighs> the toilet. I'm pregnant. How could you possibly know that? Well, Ola and said that- can't implant that quickly. Well, of but... course it can. I'm only here for a week, not nine months. Wait, wait, so you're in a week? She'll have a baby, and I'll be out of your hair. <laughs> 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 what? No, that's not, that's- it's magic. I've been telling you. Why do you think she's nauseous? Food poisoning? Eric. What? I can feel it. A week. How is that a bad thing? Honey. Oh, no, no. Let's get you to bed. She's doing great. This is perfectly normal. There's a lot going on inside of her. I don't know if I get paternity leave at work with no notice. Oh, don't worry about all that. The foundation can help. Let's keep you busy. <laughs> well. Nicola, it has been a while. It's easy. You'll remember fast. Me again. Yeah, I just keep waiting for you to pull out a vacuum to sell me. Oh, I promise you, that's not what the Gravita Foundation is about. But obviously, you know, they want something. To bring life into the world, that's all. When you... Went from barren to a mother in a week, which is insane. <laughs> What'd you tell people? They'll just be happy for you. And after you had your son, well, I mean, do a lot of the kids that they make, because they do make them, <laughs> um, do they all become doctors? I mean, your son is one and Dr. Z. Some. The foundation wants their children to reach their full potential, whatever they want to be. We're a family, and you'll be a part of it. The doctor said that too. He would know. Oh, I'm so hungry. Mm. Mm. Just ignore me. Like I said, you guys are doing great. This week's gonna be tough, but just keep eating what Ola feeds you. Sure thing. How long have you known Ola? Uh, we go way back, since she started at the foundation. Really? Because she said she started with them when she had her son. Yeah, it's true. She said her son just turned 40. Did she? She did. Do you know what she could All have right, been taught? please. See you guys tomorrow. There's always blood. Did you oil like you were supposed to? Uh-huh. The baby's doing nine months of growing in one week. The skin can split a little bit. Oh. You're fine. You're fine. It's okay. It's okay. 
Oh. I'm calling 911. I don't have any idea what to do with this. Yeah, but... Holy shit. Come on. Let's clean you up. Are you sure we should move her? Yes, give her a hand. Honey. Relax, dear. This is common. Then why didn't you warn us? It's okay. Oh, this whole process is scary enough. It's better for the baby if you're not all anxious about every detail. I'm gonna call the doctor. Sure, if you'd like, but he's gonna tell you the same thing uh. I did. Hello, Dr. Zakeni. Hey, Dr. Z. Uh, it's Eric Dallison. Hey, Eric. How are you? Not very good, actually. Michaela just woke up with her stomach split open and and then she started licking her own blood. It's nothing to worry about. I know it's super scary, but this is all part of the process. I promise. These are these are all good signs. What about the licking? Weird cravings. You know, I had a patient once who kept wanting to drink window cleaner. I'll see you tomorrow night. Oh, I remember what it's like. <sighs> But you knew pregnancy would be hard. Aren't we lucky ours are so fast? Oh, oh. Don't make it harder for the baby, too. The process is working. It's what you wanted. Hey, are you okay? We got her all wrapped up with some special bandages. Wonderful. You're gonna be a dad. You two love birds sleep tight. Yours. No, 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 no. Too bad. Come on, eat, eat, eat. Oh. Hola. The doctor said he's been working with you since you started with the foundation. That's right. Which is when your son was born, about 40 years ago? 37. But Zucchini's bio online said he graduated from med school in 2002. Mm. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it was his father who helped me. Mm. I sometimes get them a bit confused. Such a family resemblance. Mm. Wouldn't it be cool if your baby looked just like you? <laughs> I'm not naming him Eric Jr., though. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? Zakini's father. Um, Abraham, Aaron, something biblical. I like, like that. Abraham. Zucchini or also Isaac. Said it was him, not you know, I really like classical names. Or, ooh, how about Edith? Kayla! Hey, hey, hey! Let me talk for one second, okay? I She's know. upset. Just excited. Seriously? What's <laughs> this? <laughs> oh no, I guess I'm in trouble. It's scary. It's stressful and lots you of You guys things. are hiding something. Oh. He's supposed to be 44 years old. That's bullshit. You Good know it. Lord! It's clearly some sort of miscommunication. She's pregnant. You can see that. Breathe. Eat. 
be happy. Hey, Magic Mama, what's up? It worked. I'm pregnant. What? How? Magic? Uh, well, that's wonderful. Crazy, too, <laughs> but I, I'm so happy for you. Thanks. I wish Eric was as happy. Well, if he screws this up, I will fucking kill him. Please don't. You know, I was licking blood off my hand last night. Yeah, I think that really freaked Eric out. But the doctor said it's just craving, so... Wait, wait, wait. Why were you bleeding? Uh, the skin on my stomach, it, it ripped when it grew so fast. Jesus. Well, no wonder Eric's freaked. Yeah, but... I know it's weird, but I'm pregnant. You should be happy. Yeah, still... <sighs> okay, um... If it's real, I'm, I'm sure he'll get there. I just know it. Thanks. Really. For everything. For, for being a good friend and for telling us about Susan. Well, I am a good friend, but I will not babysit. But I will hold your beer for you while you change a diaper. <laughs> wow. You're so generous. Love you. Later. Love you. Cuz, can I talk to you about... Did she do it? She did, didn't she? Yeah, Michaela, she's pregnant. Can you come over in person just in case? Never mind. Can you just come over, please? Someone's at the door. Get rid of him. Sorry to bug you. I'm Rufus with Rufus Extermination, and I'm here to protect We're your We're fine, thanks. Uh, you might be fine, but do you have any kids? Not yet. My wife is almost due. Congratulations. Thanks. Uh, my stuff's not so great for newborns, so... Awesome, thanks. Eric, come in here, please. Hey, Eric. Hey, This will be your child's safe place in the world, like a womb where the mother surrounds the child. Dad, too. Hold this. Okay. <laughs> we'll take a bit of your blood and mix it with the paint. You will be all around, watching, protecting, part of the light. two drops. I have a finger stick. That's way too much. Why would you cut your palm anyway? There are far better places. Okay, I don't gonna... know. Okay, I don't know. I just, you said blood and I thought. I'll tell you what to do. Then you do it. Right now, do nothing. I'm sorry, I was trying to be supportive. It was very sweet. You doing okay? Yeah, it stings a little. That's not what I meant. Yeah, I know. It just... And this is all crazy, you know? Yeah, I know. Mm. 
This wrap will heal you relatively quickly. It's the same as her belly, actually. We match. Don't do that again. Next time, wait for specific instructions. Now, Michaela, we'll add your blood to Eric's. Get the paint can. I got it, I got it. Put it down. For mixing. Ophale, Gatau, Kupur, Nadala, Verdense, Manto. Eric, it'll be your job to paint. Be thorough. Every spot. if you were okay. Are you followed? What's wrong? What's going on? He's hungry. I can't feed him anymore. He's, he's always eating. You talk to the doctor? The doctors, they don't... They're, they're all part of it. The foundation is everywhere. You have to tell them not to trust them. It's not what they say. What is it? Michaela said her pregnancy was only one week. Is that true? You have to get your rent out of there. Out of the house. Just get her away. Why? What did they do? They gave me a monster. Okay, where's Mark? Mark, he's got a really good job now. He works for the foundation now, but the baby, you see, I feed the baby. Could I maybe help you? He's just hungry. He's so hungry, and I, I haven't feed him, but... But I think... I think, I think I'm getting sick again. He won't drink for me. You could help. Can I have some of your blood? He's, I just need a little bit. Just one bottle. Please, he'll take him from me if I can't. Hey, what's going on? Hey, is Michaela okay? She didn't pick up. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's fine. Uh, what's wrong? I met Susan's and she had an, uh, I don't know, an episode? The place is a mess and she kept going on and on about the, the what's it, the, the Godiva Foundation? Krahavada Foundation. 
Yeah, well, she said she needed blood for the baby. She, she asked me to fill a bottle while holding a knife. Holy shit. Eric? Uh, uh, one second, one second. Uh, go on. Look, I called 911, and some people showed up. They're in the back talking to her. I don't know who they are. They're not cops or EMTs. They're just weird. Cold hands, black suits. Huh, well, I haven't seen anyone here like that, so... I'm just really worried about Michaela. I mean, she's okay. I heard her stomach ripped, and she licked blood. Eric, that is not normal. No, but, uh, she's pregnant. Cherise, it's, um... It's real. What is real? Exactly what kind of baby are you getting? Look, I hope I'm wrong. Just keep an eye out, okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Hey, Susan. I'm so sorry. My mom called. I didn't have your dad's number. It's fine. You were right to worry. The foundation sent out some help. Why don't I stay too? What's going on? Nothing. Why did you say holy shit? It was Charisse. Her cousin Susan had an episode and um, kind of she episode? went to warn you. Warn me about what? She said not to trust the foundation. Okay. That Susan has been feeding her, her baby blood and she pulled a knife on Charisse. Oh She's okay, but... Postpartum depression can happen in magical pregnancies too. It, it can make things seem insurmountable, unreal. I'll have a pamphlet for you. <laughs> okay. But that doesn't explain why she's baby... I'm sure someone from the Foundation is on their way to help her out. They're the ones behind all of this. What are they behind? Eric, what are you saying? Whatever you and Zucchini are lying about. Huh? Okay, I found out what? something about the doctor. Eric, He's lying come on. about his age. No, 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 no. I want to know. I want to know the truth about Zucchini, about our baby, and about Susan. Is she crazy, or is she telling the truth about feeding her baby blood? Maybe sometimes a little, but it's... Are you fucking kidding me? Are we having a fucking vampire baby? Uh, that term has a lot of implications. <laughs> implications? What? This is a person, just like you, with slightly unique needs. People eat placenta, a bone, brain. It's a monster. All babies are monsters. They, they scream and they cry and they shit and they puke, but... This one's ours, so so what should it matter? Susan tried to stab Charisse. Charisse, your best friend. That has nothing to do with our baby. Yes, it does, obviously. Michaela. Back off. What are you hiding? What else could there possibly be? Give me your phone. Give me the phone. Give her the damn phone! Finish painting. Think about what you're risking if you screw this up. Eric is all over the place. Exactly. Don't take it personally. Once he holds the baby, he'll forget all about it. I guess. I promise. Now, stay away from the wet paint. Just one more ritual left. We don't want to mess it up.
Thanks for hanging out. Of course. Anytime. He'll have to climb this tree on his own. If my mom calls you, tell her I'm sleeping. Okay? Yeah, sure. Oops. Good thing it wasn't too high up. You'll have to try again. This last ritual will ensure the vitality of your child-to-be. Eric, you'll be chanting this. What does it mean? I can't tell you exactly. Just focus on how it makes you feel. And at some point during the ritual, it'll turn into English. If you stop, it would be very, very dangerous. Go on. Um. Ra o fa ko. Ra da a. Ra zen a. Kalu we. Ra o fa ko. No ma da a ko. Ra da a. Ra zen a. Kalu we. Ra o fa ko. I don't like this. Uh, Eric. Sona. Eric. Focus, Eric. Focus. I forfeit my energy. It hurts. My person, myself. Let me go. I give it all away to this, to you. I forfeit my energy. It's growing. My person, myself. I give it all away. To you. Make it stop. I forfeit Make it my stop. energy, my person, Help myself. Me. I give it all away to this, to you. Wonderful, Eric. Honey. We'll clean this up tomorrow. Turn out the candles before you tuck in. The doctor will be here sometime overnight. Sleep well. I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, why are you sorry? You were begging and screaming, and I said, um, and those words. Oh, they're just words. Just a way to access the magic but they felt true. Oh, they're supposed to be. Oh. And there was this thing and, and it was in my chest <laughs> and I, I couldn't keep it in. That's love. That's how I feel about the person that's growing inside of me. But it, it was, it didn't feel like love. It was, um, it was terrifying. Just wait. It'll come. Lots of kicking. Just trying to find the heartbeat. I saw a picture of your father. A handsome fellow. <laughs> Is it right that our baby will drink blood? Eric, what are you it doing? Just You're just asking. trying to find a problem. No, I'm not. Just, to... just anxious. All guys go through it as it gets closer. He's going through a lot too. Yeah, but... I know. 
But still, it's a process. My dad, on the day I was born, drank a bottle of whiskey and threw up on the accouché. Right. The, uh, midwife. Anyway. The heartbeat. Nice and healthy. Whoa. Uh, a little too loud. Morning. Jesus. Come now. What? What's wrong? Susan? Yes. 
Susan. Susan. Your blood seeped into her skin, and now that... What the fuck is that? I don't know what it is. I'll make a poultice and call the doctor. Help her to the bedroom. Not that hand. Draw this, a triangle pointing up right around the spot, then wipe it off and do it again and again. That should keep it from spreading. Is she okay? I'm calling the doctor again. They said he was sleeping, but he has to get up for this. My client has an infection or something. I don't know what it is. Yes, that's why I called. I just wake him up. Michaela, Eric, let me in! Why are you stopping? She sounds scared. What about the baby? I'll be right back. growing inside of you. A baby. A beautiful baby. Susan is dead. She killed herself and her baby. I saw... Th I saw them in the bathroom. She took pills and, and the baby was in the tub. <gasps> the baby... <t> <gasps> What does that mean? It had claws. She fed it blood. We know. Claws. Michaela, let's go. Ow. You gotta get me out of here. No, 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 stop. Go of her. Ow. How do you think this happens? This is not natural. Sure, no, it's not natural. That. But... They were controlling Susan, threatening her. Helping her. This is different. She couldn't handle being a mother. I meant for this. Michaela, your baby is an abomination. Therese, how can... How could you say that? Please, you have to believe me. I'm trying to save her. Therese, I, I, I think I think you should go. What? I'm sorry. I can't. No. No. It's a Kenny. What are you doing? Get off. Let her. Wait. 
Wait, wait, wait. What's happening? Zucchini, what are you doing? Sensitive to blood. You said the licking was fine. That was her blood. But yours, when it got on the skin and it stayed there, it caused the magic, the energy that needs to be contained in the baby to leak. Your body is not meant for magic. I can heal you, but the medicine is bad for the baby. Cherise! Pay attention. You need to induce labor now, or you could lose your wife and your baby. Yeah. Uh. yeah. Save them. Okay. Get ready for the big ones, but don't push yet. You got this, honey. You can do it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, next time you feel a contraction coming, breathe, sweetie. Push breathe. as hard as you can. Push. Push. Let's go drink it. Is she okay? We have to be fast. What's going on? She should be crying. Why isn't she crying? What's happening? Why isn't she crying? She's barely hanging on. What? What is happening? An infection from Eric's blood. You did this! Oh, it's your fault! It's all your fault! Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I didn't mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. No. There's still a chance we can fix it, but it's big, costly magic. Not the kind of thing the foundation does without total Down. commitment. You have to supply the main component for the spell. Yes, of course. What is it? A fresh human heart. Why are you looking at me? What's she talking about? No, no way. No. I understand. It's your choice. But there are no second chances. Eric. We're listen. not going to murder our friend. Eric. Please. This is our only chance. This is my only chance. I love you, and I want to do this with you. Please, I need this baby. If you're willing to murder your friend for that, maybe you're not fit to be a mother.
Wait for instructions. Let me flip him over. your own. May it sustain you. Take this life as your own. May it sustain you. What about the friend? Let me handle her. You were worth it. 